I'm really glad y'all are here this morning, and um, we're going to be continuing our series on um, context, Christ in context. And I think this is super essential because I don't think we often appreciate what context means. And let me give you an example of this. Um, I read this story, and you might have heard of it before. Um, I think it's a real true life story. There was a gentleman who was in New York City, and he had a couple of kids with him, younger kids. And he got on the subway um, during rush hour, you know, so it's super packed. And his three kids went completely bazonkers on the subway, absolutely out of control and totally nuts. And he, and he seemed altogether clueless, like just oblivious to anything in front of him. And, and the people in the subway were getting increasingly upset, like, dude, you know, get your kids under control. It's ridiculous rush hour and you know, all this stuff. So finally, it's like he suddenly wakes up like, Oh, oh, sorry. And he looks at the guy next to him and he says, I'm so sorry. Um, my kids, they're, you know, I'm really sorry that I didn't, you know, kind of sit on them better. We just came from the hospital and their mother just died. Sometimes we don't appreciate context, right? I mean, if we understood what he was going through, the context, then we would probably be a little less, you know, like, Da, 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 giving him an earful. How many of you understand what I'm saying? And I think sometimes we don't always appreciate context. Context being, you know, time, place, and conditions, the context. When you woke up this morning, there was uh, snow on the ground. If we were in Florida, there would be no snow, the place, right? The timing, timing, you know, it's like waking up, you know, whether it's at nine in the morning or whatever, 5.30 in the morning, time. Time and conditions, the conditions of what we're in at that moment. So when we look at this and we think about it with Jesus, you can flip on the back of your notes, we're going to be looking at Christ in context and looking at three areas, three things for Christ and his arrival, his birth here on planet Earth. As we're doing this, I'm excited because I'm going to as well be ministering, um, of course, all along with the Holy Spirit and uh, kind of going together, flowing with the Holy Spirit on various verses that he's giving me for people as I'm speaking and praying for um, some sick stuff, you know, uh, maladies and illnesses. So we're just kind of a fun time together and flowing with the Holy Spirit. But when we think about um, context, I want us to think uh, a little bit about timing, the timing of Jesus' birth. Now, context sometimes has a lot to do with your point of view, your perspective. So when we think about this perspective and the timing, there's two different perspectives I want us to think about. I want us to think about our perspective, and then I also want us to think about God's perspective, God's point of view. Because when we think context, those two ways of looking at things are very, very important, the timing. So with Jesus' birth, the timing, in Galatians 4 verse 4, from God's point of view, the time was ripe, ripe. And it says, in the fullness of time, in the fullness of time. And I think this is extremely powerful because when you consider the fullness of time, going back and looking back at Jesus' birth, if you recall, from the time of Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, until the time of uh, basically John the Baptist, Jesus' birth, you know, the forerunner, there was approximately 400 years of what's considered silence, divine silence. Prior to those 400 years, God had spoken through his prophets uh, fairly regularly, especially, you know, compared to 400 years. So there was this time of, of what is considered divine silence. So it's interesting that after this time of quiet and, and complete, you know, an utter stillness from the voice of God and God not speaking through his prophets, then in the fullness of time, and there's a culmination, there's an absolute uh, coming together, the fulfillment. And when you think about it, and I think not only those 400 years, but then I go back and I look at the uh, prophecy of Jesus' birth in Genesis chapter 3 with Adam and Eve. The son of woman will bruise the head of the serpent. That's the prophecy of Jesus Christ. So for 2,000 years approximately, leading up to this one divine strategic moment culminating in history to this exact time. So from God's perspective, it's super, super ripe. The conditions were completely all together coming together. But I would suggest to you, 
From man's perspective, it was a little unexpected. So when you think Matthew chapter 1, verse 19, it says, Joseph, her husband, uh, being a righteous man, didn't want to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. So this is Mary. Mary gets pregnant out of wedlock. And like, I, think, I don't think he was expecting, I don't think Joseph was expecting her to kind of pop up one day and say, hey, dude, guess what? Lucky you, I'm pregnant. And he's like, Ugh. it's very unexpected. So from a human point of view, it's unexpected. But from a divine point of view, it's completely ripe. And I would suggest that sometimes the way we see Jesus interacting in our daily lives, sometimes the timing seems a little unexpected, right? You're like, wow, that, uh, that was not what I was thinking at this time. And how many of you have ever said that to God? And yet, from God's point of view, when you look at it, you're like, whoa, I can see how God put all this together, wove it together, and it's like, whew, this was a complete culmination. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. How many of you have seen that before? I've totally seen that. That's, in many respects, how night care got started in Cambodia. It was a culmination of time, and, and it was unexpected. I ran into this lady, Anne, and I was meeting this other lady, and she happened to turn up at the same time, unexpected. But it was a culmination. Then over the course of time, some of the things she had been working on in ministry started to unravel and kind of fall apart. And for me, things started to culminate. And you watch and see God's timing. And I want us to be very sensitive to this because I think sometimes we dismiss the timing of God because it's unexpected. Right? You think, well, this isn't what I would, this isn't the way I'd organize this. This isn't the way I'd plan this. And yet, with God, it's the fullness of time. Time is fully ripe. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. We are so thrilled that we get to minister to you on YouTube. So, of course, you gotta hit the subscribe button because we wanna continue to get to connect and at your convenience. That's one of the things I love about YouTube is you can watch at your own convenience. And when you subscribe, then you get all the latest and the greatest.